Can somebody tell me what happened to the musicians? Nobody else? Thank <laughs> you. 
express how you feel, and it doesn't interfere with the relationship. And that's what I want as a, as a father of this house, as a spiritual leader of this house. I, I like relationships. And I'll come after you, and I'll come after you, and I'll come after you. And I don't think anybody has left and come back more times than Chantel.
And one of the reasons that I walk with people is because some issues you can see and some you can't. Can I get
I need a ministry, maybe a ministry that's functioning in excellence. I need musicians that's functioning in excellence. I need people to get in the game. Amen. So there's this message that I've been preaching in about one or two weeks when I'm done with the month of the day. If you're ready, you can come on up. She didn't get a chance to, to get word out from last week. I don't, I don't know if you finished or not, but there's two chairs up there. If any man comes along and starts 
I'm telling you anything other than that. That's right. Run. Right. Run. Right. Run. Right. Right. That is not the one for you. If he begins to tell you you can't tie your shoes right, run. Because in heaven has already declared that you are a good thing. And because you are a good thing, the man who finds you will not only find a good thing, but they will have favor with heaven. Look at how, look at how heaven sees you. Hey! 
question, what God are you serving? She refused to let her mother-in-law go. She said, I'm going to stick with you. Your people are my people. I found a church home. I know I belong here. I'm not going anywhere else because I understand that this is where God wants me to be. I'm going to serve the God of Pastor Lou because I see him moving and operating in my life. Just Rebecca came to me. This, I'm sorry, Rebecca came to me this morning to get a share of testimony with me. She said, Pastor Lou, a couple of weeks ago you prayed for me. Now, y'all know I remember that. <laughs> she said, You prayed for me and you spoke over my life. Someone and hook up 
for someone that they ain't going to. If someone is interested in you, they're not worthy.
you know, you see a dude like I like him going over to his house and I'm gonna roll his blanket back and I'm gonna get in the bed. That ain't what this is talking about.
Amen, Pastor. I've had Let's go to Genesis. Let's go to Genesis. Chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Are you going to be dying with him? Yeah. Are you going to get anything out of this? Okay. All right. Then I'll keep going. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 3. And let's start at verse 16. Now this was after sin entered in and man fell. Okay? Okay, so I got my Bible on the phone. Okay, I want you to go to Genesis chapter 3. Okay, come on, sir. Genesis chapter 3. You got it? Genesis chapter 3. And let's go to verse 16. It says, To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Let's read it one more time. It says, To the woman God said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. Now, now really, Smitty, if you look at that, it's just stop people from wanting to get pregnant, right? Yeah. And entering into marriage. But people, John, still want to get married, even though the Bible says God will greatly multiply your pain and your sorrow. And all of these people want to get married. It says in pain you should children. Now, it says your desire. Your desire. Your desire. Not anybody else's. It says your desire is talking to the woman. It says your desire shall be for your husband. Now, that it sounds good. But something is wrong here. Sin distorted God's plan, God's process. It corrupted it. And God had to put it back in place so he immediately unleashed Jesus into the process. And your desire shall be for your husband. I submit to you, it ain't talking about, I can't wait till he get home. The word desire is a Hebrew word. It means to overthrow. It means to do certain. Should be, will be. 